It's a day of tributes for the late Yinka Udumaki, human rights activist who fought for democracy and the mouthpiece of Afeniferi, a Yoruba socio-political group. Mr. Speaker. Political leaders are here to pay their last respects to a journalist turned activist. May we all be committed to serving Nigeria. The society we are building today will take its revenge on our children tomorrow. Let us, for Yinka's sake, work and serve Nigeria. We can only pray that all of those things that he fought for, we will find a formula and a way to make sure that we have a better Nigeria. Others highlight the struggle of Udumaki that should not be forgotten. He wanted the best for Nigeria. He wanted the best for his Yoruba nation. But he was completely detrabalized. And he uses his voice to advance the cause and the, and the need of the voiceless. You stood shoulder to shoulder. Your voices cried out loud. Not for yourselves, but for Nigeria and for humanity. For this, we owe you an eternal debt of gratitude. The leader of the Afeniferi group says restructuring is the only way forward for a better nation. Those of us who have been talking of restructuring, we are the people who want Nigeria to stay. The suffering is much. And if they don't restructure Nigeria, they will have more Igbo, they have more Igbo, they have more Igbo, 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 and we cannot repress them. I don't support the session, I don't oppose it. Please, carry on the fight. You will win, no matter the president. The late Yinka Udumaki began his activism in the year 1986 as a member of the Alliance for Progressive Students, and his agitations for a better Nigeria was never hidden, even till his last days.